What is going on everyone? We got a beautiful day in November here and we are out using some free materials that we have procured off our Facebook marketplace around here. We're getting all this stuff for free. All we have to do is look for it and go pick it up. So what we have grabbed today is some old wood. They look like they were old doors that came with hinges. This is what we have gotten for free. Some nice hardware with it, one rusted out one there. Some free wood. The awesome part was all this copper. Not to scrap, but to use it in a compost heater system. We are going to build a compost heater on the back of our greenhouse outside of it and run our copper tubing into our greenhouse and to flow water through our compost as it heats up all winter. We are going to try and heat our greenhouse right through the back of it while keeping our compost and all the gases that are given off by it outside of our greenhouse here. Quick rundown, we got some very small, what is about a quarter inch tubing, maybe a little bit bigger. And we got some what looks like to be half inch here and we have about I would say 10 feet of our half inch and about 12 feet of our quarter inch tubing here and we are going to coil this all up inside of our compost pile we're going to get all this built up all right we're back we got most of our structure built and put up how we want it this is not a fix this is our front door we are going to be able to remove that along with our top it flips up and that will sit right up like that. And then we have this entire bin. We can move this board, fill compost, remove compost. And this is where we are going to have our coils of copper, or all our scrap copper, or we're gonna wrap up in here and bed it in our compost and create heat. We're going to drill two holes in here. One will send water through, and then one will return water and cycle the hot water in and back into our greenhouse, almost like a radiator system would work or like geothermal heating. This is just a passive way. All we have to do is use compost for fuel and we always compost anyways. This is one way to use our compost and heat our greenhouse all at the same time. Just wanna show the design a little bit. It's nice and open. We get it all put back together here. Plenty big to get us continual heat through the winter out of a compost pile here. As we're doing this, this is definitely gonna have to be a two part series because we are just building this structure and it took us a good part of the day to get this in place and get it solid. And we still have to run all our lines and create a small pond inside our greenhouse here. So we are going to finish up what we can out here today, come back with an update tonight and show everybody what we've got done today. We got all this free rubber here and this is gonna work as a seal on our hinge. I have my razor blade and my stapler. We are going to cut out strips of this plastic and place it over here. That way it sheds water right off the top of it and then we will paint all of this that way it does not rot on us and so far everything we have used has been all recyclable material this is going to be a great compost heat house for the winter time here to passively heat our greenhouse up taking a quick step back and just looking at the whole structure it almost looks like a little chicken coop or something of the sort and it is going to be a super heat house for compost throughout this winter to heat our greenhouse here. We've got all of this plastic laid over the top of our hinges. We got our hinges there and we have all that plastic there to seal it and to keep rain shed off of our hinges. We're pretty happy with this free little structure. All of this wood was free. All of these materials were free. Every screw we used on this entire build was free. This is a super simple design and we wanted to be able to just break it down. Take the front right off, flip the top up and have total access to all of it. All of this copper line we are going to coil up around a five gallon bucket or something of the sort in order to get it in a circular shape. So we are gonna get this coiled up, get it set in here just to give everybody an idea. But like I said, we're gonna have to make this a two part series on passive compost heating using a radiator system with water here. One thing I wanna talk about here real quick, we have two different sizes of our copper tubing that we had procured for free. We are going to have to invest some money to be able to attach this to our greenhouse. We'll have to buy some fittings and we are going to buy a solar pump 
that will pump water through this whole system. But if we were to not use a solar pump, you can still get passive water flow. It would just be at a slower rate. And the heat from the compost transfers to the water, it will rise and thus draw cold water from the bottom of your tank inside the greenhouse. So you can have water flow without any external source of power it's just not as proficient so we want to use some solar power to be able to pump this whole radiator system and heat our greenhouse this is what we have in mind we just quickly bent this tubing the small tubing here into a nice little coil just for demonstration purposes we are going to try and find some more of this and we will fix several lengths of it together to form a nice coil in here I wanted to show for perspective how we are going to stack up compost through the entire box here this is all just a work in progress we're just trying to figure out how we're going to operate this we're just in the brainstorming phases and we wanted to bring everybody along for it so like i said with the compost being stacked up and covering this entire coil Depending on the way you fix your compost together, you can achieve 160, 170 degrees. It will cook faster and shorter. If you cook it at about 120 to 140, you can achieve longer cook times where you can leave this for a week or two and still have hot water flowing through this whole system like a radiator. So we are going to go on the other side where this will go right through. So on one of these spots on our back wall here, we will be taking two fittings and coming through and running. This, this bucket is probably not what we're going to use. We're going to get a larger container, preferably some type of insulated container to hold the heat of the water while it rises and heats up our greenhouse in the winter here. We have our lid up there. This structure only comes about halfway up. These, this whole bed gets a full day of sun. Right now it's shaded because we have our lid up, but this will not be affected by our heating system. That's why we placed it on this back wall. This is our northwestern wall here, so we have the least amount of sun coming through this corner. This should work pretty well. This is just our brainstorming phase. We have also thought about running our lines in and then having a pump running them through this entire bed here using some cheap old recycled hose we have if we can get the fittings to line up and get everything operating properly with the pump that we're going to order so we may have a heated floor in our greenhouse by compost that is one of our goals if we can't find a large enough container that we can bury in the ground to contain all of our water we want to have a large amount of mass the mass of the water the amount of water we will have will dictate how hot and how much heat we radiate into our greenhouse here. I'm gonna head back out real quick. We were not able to bend around this pipe. It is too thick. We will have to heat it up and that's gonna be too much of a process. We may just use this for hard line fittings wherever we need. We will save it nonetheless. We have some more of this small coil that we can obtain so we're not too worried about that. Sticking it back together here, this is just the beginning of our compost heating box. This is going to be a very cool little experiment, so stay tuned as this experiment gets underway here.